Hey everybody, thanks for watching Perseverance Films and Media. So today we've got another behind the scenes video. This one for Frank Rose, the song's called Hoodie. It's an artist that I've worked with before, had some fun on the first shoot, booked another one, and ended up doing a lot of this shoot on a school campus. So as usual, not a whole lot of technical stuff on these videos. I just kind of want to add some context to the experience in the shoot. A lot of great channels out there that do get into the more technical stuff and how they shot specific shots. I'm not going to do that so much on these videos because I don't really think that I'm kind of in that particular spot with my page to do that. So for now, just adding some context. I've always enjoyed behind the scenes videos from my favorite directors and my favorite artists. So I do want to incorporate that into my page. And that's what I've been doing lately with my behind the scenes videos, just adding context and just adding a little bit more of a storyboard or a storyline to the videos that I put out. So this one will probably be short and sweet. But anyway, with that being said, let's dive into it. So Frank Rose hoodie. Now I'm kind of going to go through this one a little bit quick, just adding context as I said before. But yeah, this was a fun one. Frank Rose, we worked together before on a song called Vibin', had a good experience and decided to book another shoot. This one was basically a night shoot. Now night shoots, most of the time, unless circumstances permitting, you're probably going to have to bring a lot of lights with you. As you can see in the video, I had like a lot of gear on me. Unless you can find a spot with really ideal lighting, night shoots can be a little bit more of a hassle. You might have to bring more gear just to make sure that the scene's all set up right. So I had a lot of gear with me. My Aperture 120B was really my workhorse through this one. Also had some newer lights, some like 140 and 240s, I believe, maybe even some CN 300s, I believe they're called. But my Aperture 120D was my workhorse. I used the Aperture 120D a lot of the time with the red color gels over it to add some cool effects to a lot of the shots. So shoot went pretty well, but some of the struggles. For a video like this where the artist has a lot of friends that are involved in the video, the artist is usually most of the time only paying for a certain amount of time. So you have to make sure that they're all listening and that they're on the same page. I had to remind them a couple of times like, hey man, your buddy's paying for this time. We only have so much time you know you got to make sure that they're in position on certain shots and that things are moving so that you can get the shoot done on time so I don't have to charge him more also we're on a school campus where we're not allowed to be so I thought a lot of the b-roll we had to kind of keep things down whereas most of the time for the b-roll I'd be turning the music up and letting the artists vibe out I think for a lot of the b-roll shots I had to keep it kind of down and just let them do their thing because we didn't want to get shut down so we had to do what we had to do but eventually once things got moving obviously we started turning the music up and having a good time and getting a good shoot in so the first scene I believe it was there was this cool almost like a hallway or more so like an overhang and just the symmetry of the lights and the poles and everything I really liked. So we set up like the Aperture 120D with the red gel on the right, had some newer lights on the left, got some cool shots there, got some nice smooth push-ins and push-outs where I had the other subjects kind of come into frame at the right time and I thought that looked pretty cool. Also occasionally as I've done on other videos, I would have my assistant wave a light on either side of the camera just to create like a flicker effect and add a little bit more of like a cinematic texture to the shots. I've done stuff like this before where I would have them wave a light or maybe flicker it on and off. I did this in a few different scenes. Also in this video and other videos as well. I believe from that location we moved over to a bench and we did kind of like a similar lighting setup but we also had lights above us where the benches were also on school campus. Well all the shots were on school campus but we set up some of the props, the alcohol, etc. We had the artist stand on top of a bench. Kind of just had them vibe out and do different things from here. Did a lot of lower to the ground camera facing up shots making the artist appear kind of bigger than life. So even though this whole video was shot on the school campus I think that we did a good job kind of making it seem as if we got some good variation between the shots and just picking shots on the campus that looked different from one another. Thought we did a pretty good job of that. So from here from the benches we went back to the original scene but I wanted to get like a high energy shot. I wanted to get like a tracking shot of the subjects kind of running past the camera or running towards the camera. So we got some variation here as you guys can see. So I had the guys do a few takes on this one where they're running past the camera, running at the camera like they were going to attack it. I thought these would add a lot of energy to it and I ended up using a good amount of b-roll from these shots. Now, sorry if I'm speeding through this a little fast. I did plan on keeping this video kind of short for a few different reasons. So hopefully I'm not speeding through it too fast. But yeah, the next scene was one of my favorites. Frank for my homies, Rose for the girls. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We found this cool little location on the campus where they had these brick walls. They had a little a little tight spot for the artists and the subjects to fit into and like an overhanging light that just added another texture onto it. Again, we used the Aperture 120D as you guys can clearly tell with the red color gels to add a color cast to the shots. I thought that looked pretty cool. Got some shots with just the artist solo, the artist and his friends, B-roll, and then a few of his friends. So we got a lot of variation in just these shots. As you could tell, this was one of my favorite shots. So I made sure to mix it up a pretty good amount before we finally moved.
moved to the last location of the shoot. Before we did, I had the artist say just a few words for the song is with my hoodie for the behind the scenes, just to add a little bit of context to it. I don't think we got too much because we were in a time crunch, but it was a cool spot we found right there. I liked that one, and I felt like we got some good stuff before we moved on. Now the last one, we definitely had to be clever with the lighting. You know, this was a lot of work with all the gear, carrying the lighting. I mean, it definitely can be a lot more work doing a night shoot when the lighting isn't ideal at the location. You have to carry around all your gear, radio, the lights, all the equipment, and yeah, it could definitely be a hassle. Luckily, I had some help from my assistant and some of the artist friends, but the last scene we ended up shooting on the high school football field. I really liked the way this one came out. This one, I think we might've got a few variations, but it's been quite a while since we shot it, but we did some different things with the Aperture 120D. I wanted to make sure that we got some really super close-up shots of the artist. We did some hair lights on the ground in some shots and then some up a little bit higher. And then I think we also used the Aperture 120D with the color gel as a hair light. Now, when you're shooting a video, you always wanna make sure that you get good variations. So you wanna get wide shots, you wanna get tight shots. This particular one, I had it planned out that I definitely wanted to get some really tight shots and fix the lighting just right to add a cool cinematic effect to it. I feel like these shots stood out pretty well amongst the other ones, so I was pretty happy with these. We ended up doing some high shutter speed, high energy shots real close to the artist's face. Then we also got some with the hair lights behind the artist and all of his friends. Again, we did some high shutter speed shots for this one, and you wanna pay attention for sure to the exposure on these shots, especially shooting like I was with a micro four thirds lens. Now, once again, we had another experience where the police showed up on this one. I didn't get footage of it, but luckily we were basically wrapped up. I think we were almost to the point of cleaning up by the time that security or the police actually showed up. We also didn't get ticketed like we did in the last shoot. I don't know if you guys saw the Ace Deuce video, but we ended up all receiving tickets on another shoot that I had done with other artists. My assistant got a ticket on his vehicle, my vehicle, the artist's vehicle. We got burning tickets for illegally burning when I thought that the artist had a permit, but I was wrong. Anyways, this experience wasn't too bad. We got shut down just a little bit early, but we did get all the shots that we needed, so I was thankful. Came back home, peeked the footage, and was definitely confident that we had gotten enough good shots and good variations to create a solid video for the artist. So all in all, it was a fun experience. I do kind of favor low light shoots from a personal artistic level. I like shooting in scenarios like that. I like the feel and the vibe of it, even though it's definitely more work to carry all the gear around. But I do, I do like that look and I've always been a fan of the low light look and just using the lighting artistically to create a certain vibe. So yeah, this one was fun for me. And this might be the quickest behind the scenes video for me so far. So my apologies if I race through it a little bit too fast, but I do have somewhere to be after this. And I have been working another job for most of the day. So I'm kind of speeding through it. Hopefully it wasn't too fast, but I guess you guys can be the judge. At the end of the day though, like I said before, just wanted to add a little bit of context to the video, to the experience, not only for people viewing who are curious, but also for the artist, it's something special for them. And also this has a good memory for myself to look back on for my assistance and just to add something to the experience and have another addition to the good memory of the experience as a whole. So it was fun. I'll leave the artist links in the description if you guys want to check out the full length video. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, if you did like the video, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, comment. All those things do help a whole lot. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to catch y'all soon. All right.